I'm pleased today to introduce Dr. Charlene Brown. She's the co-founder of Reciprocare. It is the match.com for home health care workers. I'm a public health physician entrepreneur, and I came to this, it's been an interesting journey for me, sort of moving through my career and the different decisions I've made along the way. But what has tied my career together, even back when I was a student at Harvard Med School and public health school, was the idea of leveraging systems to improve outcomes for disenfranchised populations. And so if you look at each stage of my career, there's some element of it that's related to increasing access to something for the betterment of a population that is disenfranchised. My career has been in public health, and so I've worked in domestic public health. I used to work at the Baltimore City Health Department as a deputy commissioner. I have worked in global health. I was at U.S. Agency for International Development as a medical officer doing global HIV work, traveling to over 20 countries around the world. But most recently, I quit my job last year to fully focus on Reciprocare because I believe in the power of Reciprocare to transform how people age in place. I want to transform how home care agencies find caregivers and how caregivers find jobs. We're building a web-based mobile app to help home care agency recruiters, um, long-term care providers, others who are in the business of helping people to age in place, to find those frontline caregivers who have excess capacity. We want to use that excess capacity to be able to help those companies to meet the demands that are growing every day for, for care as the baby boomer generation is aging in place. And so we have a population that's aging and bigger than ever before, the largest um, elder population in our history. And we have a shortage of caregivers to provide that care. And with the changes in family size and the 2.2 the million caregivers that are here in America, we don't have the workforce to be able to meet the needs that are coming. So if we have a shortage and it doesn't make sense to me that we would have an inefficiently used workforce. So caregivers are another disenfranchised population in many ways, and they're earning near minimum wage, but they're underemployed. 60% of caregivers are underemployed, and I don't think that makes any sense if, if there are providers in long-term care who are unable to meet the demand from their customers and are sometimes turning away customers. So basically, Reciprocare wants to take that excess capacity of underemployed caregivers and use it to grow the home care industry, grow the capacity of the home care industry and the overall long-term care industry to serve seniors for this new generation.